Commander, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war is for the last war. The existence of this tall cyber disk, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander isn't the alien leader, then the thin man is indeed the alien leader, which begs the question. If the thin man isn't the alien leader, then the floater is indeed the alien leader, which begs the question. If the floater isn't the alien leader, then the drone is indeed the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind to repair damaged equipment. If we were to study this specimen's mechanical brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. This is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. My unprecedented analysis indicates these microscopic mechanical cyber robots are capable of assembling specialized facilities within the human body. With further study and some sort of cyber suit, we may be able to engineer a sort of human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically combining 